couple weeks ago, I bought a Glock 17 Gen 4 that I got on Blue Line for a $430. And um, I did some uh, minor upgrades to it. And I thought I'd share it to you, with you guys. First thing I, I did was I put on the True Glow Night Sights. As you guys can see there, this one um, glows very bright day and night. Uh, as I did also to my Glock 43. I have a video that you guys can check it out. Um, it's in the channel. I'm a fan of this. A lot of people like the uh, Mary Glow and the HD Night Sights. Um, for some reason, I don't like a lot of colors when I'm shooting. So green, green, green in the back, green in the front. These are metals and it just works perfect for me. Very cheap, about $80 um, when I bought this. Um, they said it got a 12 year warranty or something like that. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but $80 is not a bad option. Also, the next one that I got was the, uh, I'm a very big fan of uh, the uh, slide cover plates of the Glock. I don't know why. I guess it's just a little thing that makes a big difference to me. Um, this was a little expensive though. This was, I got it from Amazon. I'll put the links in the description so you guys can check them out. But this was like, I think 15 or $17. Um, 17 on my 43, I put 43 on there. It had a 43 uh, laser tag on there. Um, they were kind of like a laser engraved. It's not engraved, um, but it, it's on there pretty good. I don't think it's gonna wear off anytime soon, but it's good. Uh, customization, little stuff. Uh, last and final thing that I've done to this is uh, the trigger shoe. I'm a big fan of flat triggers, but I didn't want to spend, you know, over $100 for the Agency Arms trigger, drop-in trigger system. This is from the uh, Kinetti Tech. This is just a trigger shoe. That's right, it is a flat trigger from Kinetti Tech. Like I said, um, it feels a lot better than the stock trigger. It's uh, very short, and the reset is also very short. Um, it's right there. Keep in mind, I did not mess with the connectors of this. This is a stock connector. All I did was uh, polish the whole internal, it's just like my all Glocks. I polished the internal and that's it. <clears throat> I want to keep this as stock as possible, except for, like I said, I'm just not a big fan of Glock um, sights. So that's the first thing I always do to my Glocks is the sights. This one was just like a one. I, like I said, I always wanted to change the, the it's like cover plate, <laughs> I don't know, for no reason. It doesn't help with anything, it just makes it look a little cooler. But as far as the trigger shoot, it does not lighten your the poundage of your trigger pull, but it does make it very comfortable. So, you know, um, in my opinion, it does make it lighter, but who knows? Um, it just, but to tell you guys, it, it's very comfortable than the uh, stock Glock trigger. It, it's, because every time I shot, shoot Glocks, it doesn't matter from 43 all the way to 17 to 34, it always put the dimple on my index finger. I don't know why. It's just very sharp. This one right here, this was I got for about forty dollars, forty-two dollars on Kinetic Tech. Um, you know, it's, like I said, it's about hundred dollars cheaper than the um, Agency Arms. Um, it's well built. I put this on myself. You know, it's just a trigger shoe. It comes with a pin. All you have to do is just take out your old um, trigger shoe from your stock clock. Put this on. Um, just keep in mind though, when you take off the trigger shoot from your original, um, um, from the stock, it's going to damage it. This one is very comfortable, you know, I've, I've felt those uh, Zev Tech triggers, uh, SSBI triggers, you know, even the agency arm triggers. This is no different, it's flat, it's very comfortable in your hand. Um, uh, surprisingly, I shot more accurate with this than the uh, stock trigger. This one right here. It's not a bad option, um, very comfortable, very comfortable in your fingers. So, you know, if you guys are looking into some flat triggers out there, there's plenty of options out there, but this one from Kinetic is, is by far one of the most comfortable ones that I've seen on the budget. So, I got a gun belt here that I bought recently from Amazon. I found this, um, I didn't want to spend too much on it. And um, there's a lot of uh, options out there for a gun belt, but like I said, um, I was trying to pick the cheapest way to go about it without spending $100. This one I got for like less than $20 and it's um, it's well built. Uh, kind of remind me of the 511 belt that I've had in the past, um, but it was a little bit more expensive. This one is like I said, less than $20 from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description, but it's a very um, well made. Even if it breaks on me, 
Um, I don't think I cried over it with less than $20. Um, I will show you guys when I put this on together with my Bravo concealment holster that I recently purchased. I ordered um, the Bravo concealment holster as you guys are really familiar with, a lot of videos out there already. This is the outside, uh, the waistband for Glock 17 Gen 4. Uh, I got them on sale, combo for $78. Took a little while to get to me, but um, about two weeks. But I never had this, I never tried this before, but I saw a lot of uh, good reviews on YouTube, so I decided to purchase it, and God, I was surprised. This is a very good holster, and I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys in a little bit.